Hello, Taha. Hello. How are you? Very well, thank you. Welcome. I was supposed to catch you the last time you came in Dubai, and I couldn't get a hold of you. So now this time, I thought I'm going to come directly to your house. Welcome to my humble abode. Thank you so much. From the glimmering towers of Abu Dhabi to the cultural pulse of Sharjah, our guest for today was born and brought up in UAE and today has become the heartthrob of Bollywood. He's the star of Netflix's latest sensation, Hira Mandi, who's amazed us with his acting and killer charisma. Today, I'm in conversation with the talented Taha Shah Badusha at his home in Falcon City. Taha, Dubai is a small city. You have truly been the talk of the town now. Events, interviews, you have all How is it like, how is life right now? UAE is home. And uh, it's always been my dream to make UAE proud. Because whatever I am, I, all my growing up years until I was almost 20, 21 years old, I was, I was here. Coming back now after 15 years, it's not that I've not been back. It's just that now I've come back with a lot more weightage and all the people that I've knew, known over the years, all the publications, all the media, they have all welcomed me with such open arms and such warmth because they have seen me from the time I, I had nothing and I came here with uh, uh, with my first film. Wow, so it must be truly a different uh, aspect like fans in India, in Mumbai versus the fans in Dubai. Like what has the difference been like? Mumbai is just so used to especially the kind of uh, places that we normally hang out with. They see actors in and out every day. So it's like, uh, it's become very normal. It's like living in Los Angeles, right? Yes. People walking by, it's like, all oh, right, hey, hey, good. But when you, when, but you know the value when you come out of the country. Right, the kind of craze that Hindi-speaking cinema or Bollywood has over here in UAE yeah. or GCC yeah. or UK, right? It's unmatched, unparalleled. Trust me, because I know I was a fan first kind of craze that I had. Now that things are happening for me over there, it just feels like what did I think of, and actually took that step to actually go over there to do something like this. And God has blessed me with Sanjilia Bansali. So Taha, before we dive into Hira Mandi, the success of the entire series, we want to get to know Taha Shah as a person. You were born in Abu Dhabi. You were raised in Sharjah. How much of a time did you spend in each of the places? Yeah, I think the first place my parents went to was Abu Dhabi um, because uh, my dad started off as a doctor. He's an orthopedic surgeon. My mom started off as a biochemist. This was in back in 1985. A couple of years later, my brother and me, we were both born. And I think I lived in Abu Dhabi for about eight years. There was no internet. You know, it was all about going out and playing and um, great memories um, in Abu Dhabi. And then I got actually, I shifted off to India for three years. Okay. I was in a boarding school Okay. for three years. I Where in India? Koreknal. Do you have you heard of it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So I was in Koreknal International School for about yeah. uh, three years and uh, went to Sharjah when I was about, I think, 12. I went to school in Shaifat, which was great. Then I dropped out because uh, I wanted to. My mom was a single mom. She was always working and I felt like I was always messing around. I was such a naughty kid. I just thought it's time to change, time to help my mom. So then for two, three years until I was 20, I worked with my mom. Okay. in different sorts of businesses, import of uh, steel and cement, real estate. I even stood at a, on a reception in the Ooh. hotel for four months. Okay. Yeah, checking all the rooms that it's okay. clean or not. Like hotel management, you yeah, studied hotel, hotel man management? No, no, it no? was live. It was just, yeah, just, just, <laughs> wow. just working to just, you know, just to see it. All that got done in three, three and a half years. And I'm like this. And then the financial crisis hit in 2008 and nine. And whatever I earned was gone. My intention was to go and help my mom. And here I am, they're like complete mess. And then finally, I told my mom that maybe I want to maybe join this course and just okay. kind of explore. Hmm. She's like, no question asked, she said, go. You know, and that was like, it was quite shocking. Anything to do with my career, anything to do uh, with the background work, um, setting up the house, setting up my team, setting up this, setting up everything with my mom. Well, it's so nice that you're so proud about it and you're, you know, like you're speaking so highly of your mom as well. What was the first instance, like when you told her that, Ma, I want to be a hero. Banna hai. Like when did, when did the acting kida in you come out? I never, never thought like that. I wanted to join animation or acting. Okay. All right. But animation was a very sit down job and I'm mm. like, I can't sit down. I'm like, okay, let me just try acting. The thing is that even though I really wanted to be recognized and famous, the point is when I started studying acting, I understood that I love acting. I love the science behind acting. I love the education of acting. It's not just about 
being famous anymore. Mm. And I think that that's a very thin line. How was Taha Shah back in school? Oh, you right. seem like a naughty boy. <laughs> was it like, you know, were you the backbencher? Were you the naughty kid? It actually fluctuated, to be very okay. honest. Let's talk about my teenage years when I came back here. Mm. So the first year, of course, it was just about figuring out myself, right? Figuring out the school, figuring out people, getting bullied. But then the second year, the first year I got like a 13, passed. Oh my God. I just passed. <laughs> all right. Those two years, eighth and ninth grade, I joined the right group of people. Now I know, like I know <laughs> how to get my mark. Like if, there's, if, if, I, if I ever have a kid, right, I have my nephew right now. Like if I need him to do something, I know exactly step by step how to make him the best. But were you the kinds who was like interested in all the extracurricular activities, sports day, annual day, all of that? Oh, man, it was unfortunate that we didn't really have too many of those oh. things. We did have a few things. Like back in when I was in Kori, all right, they had a lot, lot of extracurricular of activities, a lot. I was in the shot put, huh, in the shot yes. put team. I was in the relay races. I was in the yeah. long, uh, long distance running. I was in hiking. I, okay. I was in all of it. There was a time that this guy had a um, had his uh, an issue with this one girl girlfriend of his, right? Um, that girlfriend had this other guy who liked her. This other guy came to Sahara Mall, all right, <laughs> to beat this guy up. I stood in front. Okay, this guy supposedly had a relative who was like in the security of Sahara. Right. Oh my God. So he takes me uh. and puts me in this this small ass white room. All right, with with literally like just lock me in there until my brother had to come and take me out. I came out, you know, and they, you know what they were doing? They're watching a movie inside. So oh know. my God. They're like, you know, you are there. We have a movie. They're going to have a movie. There was an Altima car that I had, um, and uh, again we went for a supposed padda. All right, mm. but nobody showed up. There was a, no, actually, everybody showed up. In fact, people came in a bus. Okay. All right, there are other people who came in a bus, and there were like thirty people who came down. All right, and we were like driving, and we saw that bus, and we saw all those guys coming out. We took a U turn. <laughs> <laughs> took a U turn, and we, we went back, and we we're like, look, look, this is not happening. We went outside, and then there was another bunch of our own group. So what we decided to do was, what we always do, go and drink chai. Chai. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So we we were like. But the car is only one. What do you do? There are 14 like, mm, 14 people in one car, bro. 14 people in one Altima car. We put the seat down in the back. People were lying down, floor, on top of each other, inside. I was driving my car. We are, want to ask all the boys, who has tried this? We really want to know in the comments below, so let us know. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> if you guys ever can fit 14 people in a car, bro, you've beaten my record. We went all the way to Ajman to drink tea. Okay. Uh, we had like a adda over there. When the door opened, uh, I came out, it was still fine, right? Then two, three people came out from this one door, it was still fine. But then when the trunk opened, right? And then everybody started coming out of the trunk, crawling <laughs> out. The people were just not ending, right? Um, I think that people were just like, what? <laughs> so yeah, really naughty kids, man. Yeah. Uh, naughty grade. kids with like amazing memories and stories to tell. Like, why not? Like. Yeah, yeah, I think stories, yeah. we've. We have some incredible stories until that story where I got um, very naughty. I got expelled. Oh shit! Yeah, okay. yeah. I got okay. expelled. We were really, really crazy, man. Don't get expelled. It's not right. <laughs> Don't follow anything that I'm saying. All right. This is all messed up things that we did as kids. Basically, in grade twelve, we jumped up the wall in our school. Sounding like a movie scene right <laughs> now, really. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was, I don't even know why we did that. But we jumped over school at four o'clock in the morning. All right, and we went and spray painted the whole school. All right. <laughs> And uh, yeah, because of that, we had uh, camp. Oh, wow. Because of that, now all the branches of the school has camera set up, barbed wire set up. Have you revealed the story anywhere else on camera? <laughs> Do you think you're going to get in trouble for this? No, no, I'm my teachers know. Thank you so much for sharing these amazing stories with us. What are some of your go-to spots in Sharjah that you can recall that you used to spend a lot of time hanging out? There was like this one heritage kind of uh, building. Just before that, there was a counter-strike place. Okay. Where like an internet cafe. I think we spent a lot of time right. over there, a lot. From there, we would directly take a walk and then we would go to Sahara Mall to watch something or eat something. Well, I told you the chai place. Mm. In Ajman. In Ajman. Yeah. All right, that was one. We also used to play a lot of snooker, right? So I think this was uh, near Lamsi Plaza. Okay. Right. I know that's in Dubai, but these are all places that I, we would actually hang out in. Dera city center was one of the hubs. You okay, know, hubs. Where the OGs <laughs> used to go. In Sharjah Cornish itself, there used to be a place called Al, I think it was called Al Masa Cinema. Okay. Not really sure. Okay. But in that, there used to be a lot of cafes mm. downstairs. I remember having my first date in that okay. cinema. What is your ideal date like? Don't really go out on dates much, to be very honest. It's just very natural. You know, it's not like, will you go out on a date with me? <laughs> yeah. It, 
But my ideal date, if you want to ask me, is that if we have to bond, it has to be. Um, I'm not this beach beach guy and all that. Okay. Right? <laughs> I don't do all that crap. I am a guy very simple. I love movies, bro. Okay. If you, if, if you love movies, you're my kind of person. I watch every movie that comes out, old movies, new movies. I think cinema is like my sanctuary. Okay. Right. If I go to the cinema, I just keep my phone. And I'm like, wow. Also, I'm really bad at dates because me zada bahar ka khana khata nahi hu. Oh, okay. Right. So then I was I, just I about become, to ask you, what about food? Yeah, I become I become very boring that way. So, but nowadays we have a lot of uh, great um, healthy cafes. Okay. You know, farmers cafe, kitchens garden, hmm. Bombay side company, hmm. name it. There's so many. Yeah. Right. So those seem to be like, uh, if I had to, had to, had to go out and eat, yeah. then these would be the places that I would actually go out. I love Mughlai food. Okay. Right, which would have, but no butter, no okay. cream, no cheese, okay. no very, very less oil, mostly olive oil. How is somebody supposed to pick a cuisine with you? Yeah, very difficult. But how about like, I mean, on days when you're not dieting, when you're not as health conscious, you want to just like, you know, go all out and eat. What is the cuisine or what is the kind of food that you would, you know, really like go for? In our shooting schedule, right, where my schedule, you never know where you are and all of a sudden you don't have food, hmm. right? The kind of food that you like. I mean, you can pack all your home food, but then all of a sudden there's no food, yeah. right? Then what do you eat? Yeah. Then you have to eat what you got. God. Then you have to eat bread or you have to eat some <laughs> sandwich to fill your stomach up, right? So at that moment, I save, I save that cheat meals okay. for moments like those, okay. right? I don't specifically have a date where I, a day where I actually eat. It's not it like that happen. because okay. uh, life is very unpredictable. Mm. Right, so I keep those unpredictable moments as my cheat meals. But if I do have a choice, it would be uh, we get beef. Okay. The second one would be like a like a like a nice burger. But like homemade, or you like to go somewhere? No, no, go, go, go. Are, are there any like favorite joints that you have in mind? Mm, Shake Shack was definitely one thing yes. which is really really tasty. Over you here, you can educate me as well because I'm new to Dubai. So. You're new to Dubai. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You Shake know, Shack. Ideally, we have to be the opposite. Like Curly Tails has to give you recommendations, but here we're doing the other way around. No, no, no. <laughs> I will give you all the recommendations, Curly Tails. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Texas Roadhouse is something I really go to. When I was younger, I used to go to only fast food places. Places okay. because I had no sense in me. Okay. All right. When I come to Dubai, I love the shawarmas. One thing that I miss in in Mumbai, I'm not a big fan of Asian, to be very okay. honest. Okay. Um, there's very little things that I'm very fond of. I go to South Indian restaurants. I don't know if you've ever been to um, Sarvana Bhavan. Sir, so I've heard about it, but I haven't been. Very there. very old yes. restaurant. Yes. Right. So I go there. Um, they have in the mornings only they have like this paratha. I like the malbari paratha. Have you ever had the malbari paratha? Of course, paratha? I've had malbari paratha. Yeah, I love it. Okay. I love it. It's uh, it's the circular one which breaks out, right? Yeah. It's not the soft. Yeah, yeah. soft and, and it's made yeah. it's made in such a way that it kind of unwraps itself. Yeah. Speaking of South Indian, not a lot of people know that you're actually South Indian, right? Yes, yes, I am. Yeah. Very proud to be South Indian, bro. So, what is the kind of food that you have grown up eating at home? There will always be rice. There will be different kinds of rice. There'll be lemon rice, or there'll be khichdi, or there'll be. Uh, and when I say khichdi, I don't mean with dal. Hmm. There was a khichdi kind of rice. Hmm. All right. Then there would be bagara chawal. Okay. All right. Yes. Then there would be coconut rice. Hmm. So all different kinds of rice. Okay, at one time or the other. And then there would always be two or three different kind of vegetables. So you would make sure that we eat vegetables, right. Right, whether we like it or not. Yeah. Every day. Whether or not we liked, I mean, we loved it, but mm. we had chicken okay. and, and she would add potatoes to it. Skewper, we had this the best achar in the world, which is the Ahmed achar. Ahmed achar, if you're listening, make me your brand ambassador, brother. <laughs> and also, I love these gherkins. And if somebody's listening, Heinz ketchup. Wow. Yeah. I think we're going to get a long <laughs> list from you now. <laughs> I love, 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 love Heinz ketchup. Everything, if I don't like the food, Heinz ketchup. <laughs> ketchup, ketchup, ketchup. I'm a ketchup boy, man. Full on. Do you cook, but? I cook for survival. I cook when, uh, when literally like there's no, no food available that I can order. But mostly I cook uh, very, very simple stuff. I like grilled chicken. I know how to make grilled chicken. Mm. It's very simple. Put it in the oven. But how to do that? Mix everything. I'll do that. Ah, very nice. I know how to make rice. I know how to make uh, eggs. And if everything mixed together, I'll have the rice, scrambled eggs and chicken. Mix it all together. Put some potatoes. Done. Meal. And I think that only you can have. Very tasty. I'll give you ketchup with it too. <laughs> We shall try it next time when I come to your house. So after a long, hectic, you know, shoot schedule that you have, when you come back home, what is the kind of food that you enjoy eating? Like ghar ka khana, yes, of course, but anything specific. I have my salad, I have my brown rice, I have my sweet potatoes, I have my broccoli, I have my dal, I have my grilled chicken. 
simple yeah. everyday meal and two mm. vegetables so how long do you have to keep coming back to dubai where are you currently residing right now mumbai mumbai mumbai, mumbai. has the industry you can't live anywhere else mm. besides where the, where my work is i'll die yeah before i used to come every few months now that i've got many more business opportunity than everything mm. starting out over here i think every now i think every every month or every other month i should be dropping by and speaking of uh, you know healthy food i see you don't have tea or coffee and we've I got don't. green tea here with we us we do have green tea yes most google questions about taha who is taha from hira mandi tajdar baloch <laughs> you want to describe him a little bit tajdar baloch is um, is an oxford returned nawab oh. with very strong principles who believes in love but believes in true love with one person he's also a person who is confused but overall he is a man of his word and you have played the part absolutely like wonderfully like i must Thank say you. is taha sha single Yes. Is okay. that the most searched question really? Yeah. Got it. See, you're just becoming famous now. People want to know about you. So that's why they're asking who's Tahasha from Hira Mandi also. What was Tahasha's first movie? Love Ka the End. Yes. Most bizarre rumor about Tahasha. Are you Tahasha. confirming? Were you like, "Yes. <laughs> I know all my friend movie." You're like, "Yes, you're right." I have huh? seen the movie. I have seen the movie. It's with uh, <laughs> Shraddha Kapoor. Yeah, but yeah. the way you're like, yes, "You're right." <laughs> You're right. Good job, man. Huh? <laughs> Most bizarre rumor about Tahasha. To be very honest, nobody was interested in me. Okay. All right, to make rumors about me. Okay. Now that uh, there's some interest about me, maybe there's some rumors that will start very soon. You can probably drop the name who you want to take on the first date also here with. Like who do I want to take? Yeah, you want to take on a, the perfect date that you mentioned. Uh, I don't take people on dates. No. No. Okay. No. I don't. Take I think it's dates. the other way around. It's like the, they have to. That would be very kind of them. Okay. But uh, no dates. I think it's very natural flow of things, and uh, there's some really incredible people out there. But it just has to flow. I don't believe yeah. in this dating system. I think all the girls out there. Literally, on the last person that I, I mean, about a year and a half ago or two years ago, um, the last person who I actually like, kind of like, was infatuated with, right, taught me that I have to ask somebody out for a date. Otherwise, <laughs> normally I never ask anybody for a date. I think this is where Bollywood come and play, and you know, you can have the romance angle, and you know, there's something. I'm, to learn I, from that's that. because I don't have a date. Doesn't mean I'm not <laughs> romantic. Excuse me. I'm very <laughs> romantic. I am one of the most romantic people. If it has to be. Where does Taha currently live? I'm in hotels. Okay. <laughs> All over. <laughs> I live in hotels right now. Hotels are my jam. How tall is Tahasha? I think I'm about five nine, five ten. Who is Tahasha outside work? I'm looking for work. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he is. He's always looking and hustling. He's a hustler. That's what Tahasha is. He's a hustler day in day out. There is. It's not work for me. You know the thing is that people think that this is just work. Like you get up and you're like you want to go for shoot. No, no, no. That is not work. When I go for shoot, that is my play. That is my vacation. Right. That's what I love doing. Right, I don't think of that as work at all. What is work is when I'm not shooting, is when I'm developing myself, when I'm learning yeah. new skills, when I don't feel like waking up, but I have to wake up and kick my ass. Yeah. Right, that is work. I love what I do, by the way. Hmm. You know, my 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 small nephew, um, he's actually over there, but he just asked me upstairs. He's like, Ta Ta Tu, why why are you working so much? <laughs> huh? I am very lucky. I'm a boy, young boy. I don't have to do as much work. I said, but I love what I'm doing. And he's like. Why? I'm like what? <laughs> well, speaking of work, I'm aware that you had, uh, you know, a long period when you know you were struggling, where you were finding work. How did Hira Mandi happen? We got that one audition after so much hustle and so much begging and pleading. And uh, well, when she gave us the audition, we we're like, yes, she's giving us the audition. When it came to us, we realized that it was just uh, a three-minute role. Okay. I'm mean, oh. sorry, a three-day role, which was basically like maybe a minute. A small part. Yeah. Like a minute. Which part was it? Not even mentioned, Zakir. Okay. There was some role called Zakir. It was like a driver. Oh, okay, okay. All right, and then from there, I signed the contract. I said, you know what, I'll do it. And then from there, I just got a random call like two, three weeks later. Three weeks later, says sir wants to meet you. I went, met him. He asked, what all did you do? I told him all this work, and he's like, my काम तो तूने बहुत किया है पर कोई तुझे जानता नहीं है. And he told Shruti that Shruti इसको ये role मत दे, इसको Balraj का role दे दे. So that was a thirty day role. Yeah, yeah, the friend. The friend. Yeah. So um, I'm like, wow, shit, yeah, amazing. Thank you, sir. I went did the look test the next day. Um, I think I did well. And then two weeks later, I was going to sign the contract. I got a call the same day. I was heading to the con to, to sign the contract. They're like, "Sorry, but sir changed his mind." I'm like, "God, why, God?" And I'm like, "Okay, fine. You know what? This is this is how it is, man. Life is not life is not fair. 
um, never never was, never will be. Yeah. I went in, but he's like, they're like, sir wants to see you and tell you directly. I said, okay. So I went up to sir. And in my mind, I was like, I don't know what I did wrong. <laughs> okay, right? you were just thinking of the worst. Of course. Yeah. Because my whole life, I've just been mm. replaced or some, you know, somebody's child, somebody's nephew, somebody's something, somebody's something. It's always happened to me. So I'm like, what did I do? Um, so I went up to him and I literally just kind of held his legs and I'm like, sir, look, sir, please, please don't throw me out, right? Or just don't, just please give me this role because I have no work. This is the biggest opportunity of my life, please. And he just very kindly, he said, sit down, sit down. So I went and sat down and he's like, he looked at me and I was looking at him and he's like, I saw your look test. You've done really well. Kuch to hai teri aankho mein. Oh, wow. I want you for the lead role of my project. Tazdar Baloch. Wow, the way you That's, even narrated this feels like I've got like goosebumps, yeah. Trust me, I went blank. How was you, like, what did you feel like? Blank, you know? I was blank. I thought he was pulling my leg. Okay. I thought he was just messing around with me. Because, you know, he was just like, ha ha, I'm joking. <laughs> and hmm. I thought he was going to break out into that. So I was just looking at him and he's like, you don't want it. I said, uh, I'm not understanding what you're saying, sir. I'm yeah. sorry. He's like, you heard right, go, go. Now go downstairs, meet Shivam. He'll give you the scene for the uh, test. Okay, wow. So it I, must have uh, taken so much time to even process it. Yeah, yeah I, I, I was, I came down and closed the door and I was walking down and that's when I realized that, because I didn't wake up yet, right? I thought if I went, yeah, you know, high point, when I get up, you go, yeah, mm -hmm. you got it. Ha, no, <laughs> no, sleep, yeah. sleep, go back, get the same dream. Yeah, <laughs> how many times have you done that, you know? And so, yeah. um, I know, so, but yeah, I went down, I got the scene, I'm like, this is reality, man. So, um, and then from there, there was another journey, um, which happened where I was, um, I did the set, test, first test, gave me another scene, and did the next scene, passed that round. Um, next day, they called me for Luke test, did all of that for 10 hours. Then he said, don't call anybody, only Shruti will call you. Okay. I said, okay, because I took everybody's numbers. He huh. said, don't call anybody. I said, no, I won't call sir. And then uh, one week, two weeks passed, I called her, she said, nothing yet. Three weeks passed, I'm like, ma'am, please. You know what? I don't want the lead role. <laughs> I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> give me Balraj's role. I'm not, I'm very happy. Please, just I don't want this. It's giving me too much stress. All right. Um, it shouldn't be that you cast somebody here and he takes the other person that he already signed yeah, on. Yeah, And yeah. I'm no. Well, he just nowhere. changes his mind. Yeah. yeah. But does that happen in Bollywood? Like you anything know, anything can just... happen. Anything okay. can happen. You can be shooting the project and you can get replaced. Okay. All right. There's anything can happen. One month passed, no answer. One and a half months passed. No answer, no answer, right? And then as I got three projects, okay. I got offered three projects, and I, one international project where I was getting good money, mm. right? And I had no money, so I'm like, uh, man, okay, projects, money, three projects, money, lots of money, good, <laughs> nothing, nothing in my hand, not good, all right? So I dragged the project, I dragged the contract out wow. for about a month, then a month and a half, three months ago, okay? And I'm like, and the last day they were like, look, either you're gonna do it. Or you're not going not to do good. it. Yeah, you have to give an answer. Yeah, you better give an answer right now or else tomorrow they're cancelling it. Huh. I said, okay, 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 no, I'll, I'll just give me a second. Just, I'll, I'll, like, I took some time. So I call all those three people and I'm like, cancel. Wow. Yeah. And to, for, at that point of time when, you, when you're so unsure to, you know, kind of make that decision is quite a big risk for sure. Big risk, bro. bro yeah. My, a very heavy stone on my heart. Trust me, I, because I'm not getting any money. I don't have any money. I have no work. Nobody's giving me auditions. Yeah. I had nothing. I'm zero. Three days later, I get a call from Mr. Bansali. You are my Tarza, come to set. Wow. So the risk has turned out and worked out very, very it well. It could have gone yeah. south too, you know. Yeah. So before we let you go, I know you're on a tight schedule. We'll play a quick game. It's called This or That. You have to pick between the two options. Okay. Dubai or Mumbai? If it's for food, Dubai. Okay. And work? Mumbai. Mumbai. Playing the hero or the villain? The hero. Karak chai or coffee? Chai, chai, green chai. Green chai, <laughs> green tea. <laughs> shawarma or falafel? Man, shawarma. Chicken, chicken shawarma. Chicken shawarma plat. Dubai in the day or Dubai at night? Dubai in the day. Abu Dhabi or Sharjah? Abu Dhabi. Beaches or mountains? Mountains. Netflix binge or a night out? Who am I going out with? Okay. Depends. Hmm. An early bird or a night owl? Early bird. Road trips or catching flights? Flights. OTT or big screen? Big screen, huge screen, massive screen. So speaking of the big screens, what are some of the big massive projects that are lining up for you now? I can't really tell you about the projects that I'm doing at the moment, but I do want to stick on to romantic roles because that's what the audience has loved me for. 
and I think uh, romance is always going to be in the air. It's evergreen, and 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 I'm a lover boy myself okay. all the time. So I know that uh, this is something that I've always wanted to do. Um, even though I want to be a versatile actor, it's not that I want to be a versatile actor. Uh, but that is something that I'm going to definitely. The f next two three projects is going to be romance for me. Okay. And then I have a few other projects which are going to be biopics. I have something to, uh, that I want to do in the in the army space. Hmm. I have something that I want to do in the in the police space. Hmm. I have something some incredible stories about some thriller stories, um, which are just going to like what's, yeah. what's happening. Um, then some really incredible characters. I wish I could do something on the lines of Black, all right, wow. um, Rani yeah. Mukherjee's kind of mm. role. Mm. That is, that's what I would really want to do. Yeah. And um, of course, my my whole uh, life, I've always wanted to be an action hero. Okay. Right. Um, all my skills that I've built up over the years is for that. Mm. And I really hope that I can combine romance. I can do a full-on commercial film. Okay. Full-on. Full-on. Action, drama, comedy. Is I there think. a heroine you have in mind that you want to pitch? I have a couple actually, but okay. yeah, sure, yeah. Um, Alia, Kriti, Kiara, these are my top three. Well, lovely chatting with you, Taha, and thank you so much for taking time out and thank speaking so to us uh, amidst your busy schedule. And no. where should we see Taha Shah next? Where should you see me? I guess you're going to see Mumbai, me. Mumbai, Dubai, UK. where will we be spotting him? You'll be seeing me in the UK now. Lots of travels ahead. <laughs>